All right, yo, what's up, guys? This is uh, Joe Crush. The new patch notes came out, patch 1.05, so we're going to be just taking the first look um, at them together. I have them on screen here. Let me try to let me make them a little bit larger. Okay, so the I like to read the little thing at first, so it kind of just makes sense, get a little um, overview of the patch notes. So it says in V1.05, Jack can apparently just stabilize his behavior while also being strength to compensate for the weak wing of throws by the battle system. So they weaken throws. Um, they took out the tracking throws, I must uh, imagine. In addition, the enhancing moves are already useful as offensive starting points, such as running 1 plus 2, war raising 2 4, and the during Gamma Hollow 4. The usage of the 4 watch offensive has been improved. Up 4 3. They nerfed, they buffed up 4 3. Holy shit, they buffed up 4 3. Furthermore, the reach of all throws has been extended, increasing the length of grabbing points for pre grade backdash. This change grants Jack a new form of advantage in throwing capabilities. Is this just Jack? Increasing the likelihood of reach of all throws ex extended. Is this everyone or Jack 8? We have to find out. So the first one, Rage Art. Okay, Rage Art. Upward is leaving instances of a attack with missile situations. Okay, so... I thought this hitbox was crazy enough. It's literally a mega bus that hits half screen. So I guess they decided it didn't hit high enough. It didn't have enough coverage, so we'll take it. Sick. Um, nice. Adjust hey, the allocation section with the opponent to make it awesome. difficult to slip under a floating opponent by extending the collusion upward. Huh? Adjust the collusion detection with the opponent to make it more difficult to slip under a floating opponent by extending collusion upward. I guess maybe Rage Art would go under? Over? Okay. Well, you know, more common Rage Arts, more uh, consistent Rage Arts, yeah. We'll take it. <laughs> All right, up four three. If the attack does not hit, dude, twine is twelve to seventeen. Launch punishable to twelve frames. Okay, well this is gonna. The recovery time is reduced by five frames. Reduce the distance the opponent on block. Previously does six damage on close. Now inflicts eight recoverable damage regardless of distance. Eight recoverable health. Move cannot cause a KO. Okay. Change the jump status from nine twenty one to nine twenty three to prevent hitting while low attack before the attack start up. Huh? Jump status? Oh, because you could land on the ground and you could get hit sometimes. No way! They made it minus... Bro, holy... Minus 12 Gamma Howl up 4-3 mixes. No longer launch punishable. Time to frame travel back on the suit with the bus. Frame travel back on the suit? On which situation? Up 4-3? Dude, that's insane. Holy moly. Okay, um, so minus 12. That was one of my big draws back from using this because like it's kind of almost going for a C planter. It's launch punishable, you know? So it's just like, damn, like, I guess I would just really have to, um, you know, really pick my spots carefully. You know, and it, you could kill with it before. That was one really cheeky way to use it is to kill. Now it can kill. That kind of sucks a little bit, but I think... Overall, yeah, this this up down is like a little bit of a rework. It means I think I'll take this I really did like doing the cheeky up four three to kill but at the end of the day it was launch punch what minus 17 So this is just in all my eyes a buff. Holy moly dude 12 frames Okay, Jack running two uh, Also war is a two forward gamma the opponent's recovery time is blocking for increased by one frame plus four They said plus three was not good enough Oh my god. Here are frame traps with back one plus two. True interrupts on back four four. What else do we get? What else do we get? Forward one pure trap. Forward one mid check trap. Down forward one hit confirms more. Off of so many different options. Running one plus two. Wall raising two four though. So basically the the, the gamma hall four kicks. And running one pursuit. That's huge, dude. Holy. Oh my god. I honestly so far this is looking like a bigger buff than what he got in the last patch. I did not expect this, really. I thought they were done. And they said these are the last patch notes before like the new season. Okay, approach opponent. The throw range is been extended each other opponent. So all throw ranges has been extended. Literally every single one of his throws. Generics. Uh the Volcano Buster, the one where you can get the Crouching Grab, Guaranteed, the Wall Breaker, Tombstone, 
the uh, the one break, the quarter circle back two. And we gotta check that out. Are these new notes? Yes, new notes. They just came out. Okay, so down two behavior. His box might leave. It's the word for some moves. Crouch down four. No crouch. No down two. Wall crouching down two. Okay. So it's down two. It's our uh, 11 frame dick jab. The hitbox has been expanded, alleviating instances of whiffing for certain moves. I'm not sure. Hmm. I guess sometimes it whiffed on a punish or, you know, I don't know. I, uh, hitbox expanded on a down two. We'll take it. I think that might help with the wall combo because sometimes if you did like the wall combo with Jack, two jab, down two, into full crouch, down four, four, two. That down two would whiff. So since it's expanded downwards, I think we're gonna have uber consistent combos now with anything involving down two. So we'll take that. Um, maybe less crushing on just a bunch of other things. Maybe we'll hit out AOP. If it hits out AOP, an 11 frame dick job hits out AOP, that'd be crazy. But uh, that might be asking too much for the hitbox. We'll see though. At least for the wall combo, I would be happy if they fix that. Um, next we got board three, two. This, okay, this is just a hitbox expanded down on all these moves. 4, 3, 2, up back almost 2. Oh my god, this is huge. 4, 3, 2. Okay, that's dope. 4, 3, 2, I guess, I mean, uh, I don't have too much problems. It's, the first hit, 4, 3 is already good enough. The up back 1 plus 2, that's a godsend. You don't know how much times this, this move just gets crushed by it's just everything. It's one of the most crushable highs in the game. Up back 1 plus 2. So they must have seen that. They must have seen me get just constantly just crushed, crush, crush. Even with the most minuscule high crush, things aren't even meant to high crush. It will high crush up back one plus two. My armor move, the swing, the uh, the double-handed swing. So that's huge. Uh, it's in a group of buffs, but I'm looking at this one in particular for my playstyle. That's huge. Uh, wall raising one. I've never seen that move really be crushed. It has a pretty good hitbox, so that's cool, I guess. Wall crouching, full crouch, down back one one. Okay, well, full crouch down back one hits grounded. Mm, I'm not sure about the second hit. Maybe sometimes it got crushed. And they buffed the Gamma Hall 2 hitbox again. During Gamma Hall 2, so they buffed the Gamma Hall 2 again. Sick. Okay, we have to try it again for combos. We're going to have to go back to the combos. Um, head pie. See what we can do with Gamma Hall 2 again. During Gamma Charge and Gamma Hall 2. Huh? Same thing, just Gamma Hall 2. So they just expanded the hitbox on both of these situations. Okay. So it's just that the Gamma 2 is a big guard break high. 42 damage tornado as well. So more useful for combos. Okay, so just holy moly, man. That's it for Jack, but I mean, just pretty short to the point. Some of them were big groups. But god damn, these are some amazing Jack buffs. I mean, I wasn't really like, you know, touting like we really needed buffs after these new notes. I mean, the patch 1.04, but... Dude, 1.05, they hooked him up. Up 4-3, just... That's one of the biggest buffs, hands down. The plus 4 off of so many different situations, that's gonna be totally, totally game-changing. I mean, I love to see that. Um, uh, hitbox, the throw range, that's cool. I'm gonna have to really practice this one practice to see what it means. Like, does Jack have unique throw range? If so, that's cool. One thing I want to test... Is if the windmills with the increased throw range, can we get the back turn grab again? They took it out from us. They 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 took it away from us. I don't know if they realize that, but maybe with the increased range on a throw, we can get the windmills into the one back turn yeet again. They'll give it to us back. I'm hoping and praying. We'll check tomorrow. Um, but that's super huge. Yeah, and like I said, yeah, running one plus two plus four. Yes, rising two four and gamma hall four. Plus four as well. That's huge, man. One frame, I mean, one frame, it can do a lot. And a whole bunch of different scenarios. Um, and the rest of it is like hitbox stuff. We'll have to see what this really means. Uh, it's usually more like tuned in for specific scenarios. Something wasn't working right. So we'll have to see if this has like more general implications or more niche implications. But overall, it doesn't hurt to have your hitboxes expanded. So that's nice. But yeah, that's going to cover it for the Jack 8 buffs. Um, I'm pretty sure that we're covering everything really related. Um, I'll, we can check out the generic stuff real quick while we're at it. Just because I want to see if they nerfed tracking throws. 